Hi, this is Jacob Danell and this is my script Bend Layers. The script is built out of four blocks, segments, null position, bending and curves. Segments is the amount of cuts that will happen to your layers. The more you pick, the smoother the bend will get. Null position is where your null controller will be applied on the layer, but also where the bending will occur. Bending is the direction of where the layer will be bent. Think these lines as arrows pointing to direction of the bending. And last we have curves. Either you can get a C curve or an S curve. You start with selecting the layer you want to bend, set the segments, null, bending and curve, and press bend. Simple as that. And if your object isn't pre-composed, the script will pre-compose it for you. You select the null controller that's created for you, and inside you have amount of bend and grow bounds. The amount of bend makes your layer bend, as you can see. And grow bounds I will talk about soon. If you pick the center, the layer will bend in the center. And if you pick to the right, the layer will bend from the right. And if you select S-curve, the layer will bend as an S or as a flag. One thing to be aware of is that After Effects internal rendering creates small lines between all the segments. Normally this can be fixed by changing the mode to alpha add, but it wasn't enough this time. So I have added a grow bounds that extends the last pixel of each segment. But don't overdo it because it creates something like this. So be very careful with it. As you also can see, if we make a C curve and extend the edge, if you bend inwards, nothing happens, but if you bend outwards, you get this kind of, yeah, <laughs> this kind of thing. So be very careful with it. Here I have a short example of what you can do with the script. I have created a very long comp that inside we have a picture and I have duplicated these pictures a lot of times and connected them to null. So we now can animate these like this and when we come back we're gonna bend this layer and because it's very long I'm gonna ramp up the segments and pick bending on the length and from the center and press bend I can now bend this layer a little bit and apply depth of field and render. And there we have an animated picture selector thingy. I'm sure you can come up with something better to use with this script, so try it out! <laughs>